Hey guys, Jamie with JRC Mechanical here again, back with another tool review. Uh, once again, on another Milwaukee product. Um, today, it's going to be the Milwaukee 90 degree uh, die grinder. So, I'm making this video kind of mainly because I, I kind of got mixed reviews on this thing. Um, it's been in service in my service truck for uh, know, a little better than a month now. Uh, and a little background history, I'm, I'm a heavy duty mechanic, run my own business, I'm one guy, one truck. And uh, yeah, so I really rely on my tools. So my main reason for buying this originally was uh, a lot of times you gotta, you know, make a quick, you know, just make a quick touch up on a, a, you know, a piece of metal, you know, maybe there's a burr on a shaft or something like that. And you just, you know, you, you want to be able to do it quick without unreeling your hoses, starting your, your compressor. And uh, yeah, it just, it saves a lot of time to have something like this. So I picked this up. I think it was oh, somewhere in the 250 Canadian range. I, I'm not going to say for sure, but that got you the die grinder one extra battery and of course your charger and the flimsy case that they come with. Some guys like them, some guys don't. But uh, anyway, so yeah, that's it. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely bigger than your average die grinder, but man, for quick jobs, you know, quick touch-ups, this, this thing is, is amazing. Uh, so you've got your selector switch here this is different speeds, not different powers, just different speeds. So, let's see, we got it on, you know, three, four. We'll go back to number one here. Two, three, and four. So, I love this thing. It's amazing, but we live in Canada here, and it does not perform in the cold weather. For whatever reason, I you know I'm, I'm guessing it's due to you know something to do with the battery, you know battery life or the batteries just don't perform as well in the in the cold either. So uh, it it tends to stall out, and I'll show you kind of what it does when it stalls out. It stalls out, and then you kind of it'll go stall out. You have to reset it and get back into it. Now in the cold, anything colder than about you know minus 10 degrees, uh, it stalls out often. You can't put much. Put much pressure on uh, on the bit or the the uh, your cutting wheel or or buffer whatever you have on there before it stalls out and it is really quite annoying in the uh, in the cold weather. However, indoors this thing performs flawlessly. It's got quite a bit of power. I'm going to give you a quick a quick show here. I'm not going to put on a bunch of different bits and try a bunch of different stuff. Uh, the cutting wheels usually take up enough power. Uh, to uh, to give you a good idea. So I got some one inch angle iron here, and I'll give you a I'll give you a quick show on you know, what I can kind of do here. Let me get some safety glasses on. Safety first, of course. Well, that's my bad. I didn't tighten up the chuck enough. see it came out anyways that's that's one that's uh that's through the top of the angle iron there so it, it it definitely goes through it for you know for quick little things um which okay this coming out it's actually going to get get me to my next point here my next gripe on this thing and it is with the chuck itself now this nut on a quarter inch i mean it's only meant for quarter inch of course it uh it gets sticky. Like if you tighten this nut on there too tight, you're going to have a hell of a time getting this out. Um, it, it's really quite annoying. So what I did is I took the, uh, the, I don't know what you call it, the call it, uh, whatever you call it, the grabber thing. You take that out and I, uh, I buffed it up 
it had a bunch of little machine marks in it right from the factory and it just tends to uh to, to grab the grab in here a little too tight so i smoothed that out it's a little better you still can't tighten it down too much or you're gonna have a hell of a time getting this out so anyways that's my quick review on this thing uh great for indoors if you're going to rely on it in minus 20 it's not going to work uh other than that great tool thanks for watching